gentlemen, my name is Andrew and welcome on back to Transport Fever 2 and welcome on back to the Leo Gaming channel as well. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, I am having a fantastic day and I have been looking around the map here for a little bit. Last episode, we kind of did a bit of cargo upgrades and the episode before that we started the Lucknow line. Okay, so that's just a little bit of a recap, not a lot. But I've been looking around and I've been noticing a lot of improvements that we need to do on these lines. Such as in our oil and crude lines that we got going on over here in Tokyo. We need to go in and fix that because we got 41 oil waiting right here, which is not enough for a full load. But we got 253 oil waiting here in one of the, to uh, in the Tokyo oil well. And then we got over 350 crude oil waiting here in the Tainan oil well area uh, not only that but we got an uh, overstock of grain waiting we don't have an overstock of food grain but that is enough for like two and a half trains loads worth so that's crazy right there um we do need to produce uh bring the food into rofflin i know i'm not say saying that pronoun uh, right but oh well i'll leave it be for now uh we also have a little bit of an excess right here over at one of the stops at the Surant Loop and then by the end of the episode I want to get this line expanded out over to Izmir at least. Izmir is going to be my end goal by the end of today's episode but first let's go and focus on the upgrades that we need to do and the optimizations. So the first optimizations that I think are going to be the easiest is the passenger optimization in Surant. We don't need any passenger op optimization uh, here in RAW because literally the one that has the most amount of stops is this one right here, the Yen Chow Street stop. All these other stops have like maybe one, two, or four passengers. This one has 14 at it, but that's not really enough to draw concern for. So we'll, we don't need to worry about the line in RAW at the moment. Uh, Surat. Now this is going to be a bit interesting. Um, Surat has a decent amount of passengers waiting over at its station, its train station. Um, we got an adequate, I'd say, number of passengers waiting inside the sidings where the passengers are going to travel around the town from. And we got an overwhelming number of passengers waiting over at 7th Street. So we need to go and fix that. Uh, we don't got an overwhelming number over here, but I eventually will see that the uh, AI is going to grow this town out to the point where all these stops will be overflown. So first off, let's go and uh, fix that problem that we got going on. So we need to go ahead and grab the Surat loop. And we got 10 vehicles on the line right now. Let's just go ahead and get like four more added on there. So it makes that 14. Uh, we don't need to worry about the raw line over here in Tainan. I know we have an excess amount of passengers at this stop and I should go and get that fixed um, because that's really the only overwhelming stop that we got. And how many passengers do we even got on that line? Uh, or not passengers, but buses. It looks about like 10 buses at the moment. Actually just check that here. So this is the Tainan loop. We got 12 vehicles on there. Okay, that's not bad. One, two, three. Uh, let's go four again. Get another four on there, and that's going to come from that depot right there. Uh, Tokyo, you have an excess number of people waiting over here at Lower Tokyo. In fact, it's an overcrowded number. I might want to consider expanding the station then. Um, then we have an overwhelming number of people over at New Orbit Road. Uh, we don't got a lot of people over at 2nd Street because there's no one there. Uh, we don't got a lot of people over at 12th Street because it's pretty much nobody. And then we don't got a lot of people over here at Omot Sando Avenue. But we will go and get some more vehicles on that line because we need to. So Tokyo Loop, we only have 15 vehicles on this line. Let's go and bump that up to 20. And just go and get that done like so. And then, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and actually upgrade this de uh, this station for the moment. So passenger, let's get you upgraded like so. Cargo, upgrade you as well. Um, that expands you only by one block's worth. So I'm going to expand you by another block. So that way you are 30 meters length. And that gives us plenty of space to work with. 
So they are going to go ahead and spread out inside of that station, and that should be fine for now. Um, we're going to let the game run for a moment, so that way those uh, vehicles that we purchased over in Sarat and over in Tainan can actually go and spread out a little bit. And then Kalukan. Kalukan doesn't have many passengers. We got 37 waiting on the Kalukan loop to go via Night Street, which I think that's uh, this one over here. And then there's 15 going towards Lower Cancun, which is to the actual station. Um, so I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Uh, what we can do with that then, go ahead and go into the Kalukan loop. Buy four more vehicles, get that up to 20 vehicles in total on that line. That will come from this depot over here, I believe. Or not. Where are they coming from? I don't know where they're coming from, because they're not apparently coming from over here. Otherwise, I may have missed them. Um, we might want to consider expanding this station as well, because I haven't yet. And we will be knocking down a building or two, but, uh, but I think that's fine. I don't really care about those buildings anyway, because they're not one of mine. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave that be for now. Um, now, the passenger line that we got going from Kalukan over to Tainan via Tokyo is not really overwhelmed at this point. But we do need to wait for a new passenger carriage. Now, I'm not too sure when that new passenger carriage unlocks, but I can... Check to see if we've already unlocked it, which I don't think we have. Um, go into the Calocan Tainan line. If I were to go and find replacement vehicle, we have a better actual train, just not a better actual passenger unit. So yeah, that's the only passenger unit we have, 25 miles per hour top speed. We can't go any faster than that. So we gotta wait until our next actual upgrade for the passenger lines, which I don't think is gonna be until like 60, six or 67 i'm not too sure about that because i haven't played that far ahead in the game i have had very little time to actually play transport fever 2 over the past couple of weeks well not really weeks but past couple of days as um i've been really not really flustered but more so focused on trying to get my sleep schedule attuned and fixed because recently my sleep schedule has been just me uh coming home going to sleep and then sleeping for about 12 hours. <laughs> and that, that's that's really bad, really, really bad. So I've been trying to get that fixed up and that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't been playing Transport Fever 2 as often as I would want to, because I've been wanting to play it for stream. Now, I do want to go and get another vehicle on our passenger line over here, which we got to go ahead and purchase it from the depot, not for the line, because if we were to purchase it from the line, it would go and purchase it all the way from the Calucan train train depot. And we don't have a connection for the Calucan train depot to go onto that line. Yay. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, we'll leave that be for the moment, though. Um, and we'll just have to uh, let that go about its own business. But we can go ahead and check to see if we can add another train on that line. We got 38 passengers waiting on the Lucknow line. And then we got 50 and 56, so definitely we are needing to have another passenger's worth, or passenger train's worth. And then 8 over there. That should be okay. We can go and get another train on. Where is the other train that we got? He is... Where is he? I think he might be in the tunnel. Uh, not in the tunnel. Oh, uh, he's en route to Raw. Where's the other passenger train? Ah, okay, so he just got out of Surat. So I think I might want to wait till this passenger train right here is coming back from uh, Tainan into Ra. So that way that will give us a little bit of a gap, and that means this train right here will be already on its way back to Surat. That way it's a bit of a gap between the two. At least I think that will be. I'm not too certain, but I think that will be a good gap. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, if I run on three times speed here, we should be A-OK -okay to find that out. Uh, you should just immediately head on out. I'm going to pin you to my dashboard so that way I can actually follow you and have you along the same route. Also, these guys are just making bank right now. If I take a look at our line statistics, I um, also actually grab the train and have you pinned. And if I go to only visible, 
our passenger line, which is the uh, Tainan to Lucknow line, the vehicle condition of road 53 is very poor. Well, I don't care. Um, we're almost running at capacity, which is fine. 14 minute frequency, $600,000 is what we're making. Yeah, we'll just drop down to about 200,000, but once when we get a payout, that will be like 600,000 right there. And these trains, I gotta admit, they do run a little bit slow because of the fact that they are limited by the passenger wagons. Also, I hate getting those messages about the vehicle conditions being poor because I really don't care. Um, so you, I am just waiting for. Let's just go and ring you up there. And then let me go and grab the train depot here. And let's actually go and grab ourselves our train. Now, what type of train is this? This is a Russian class G. V. So we need one of those. And then we need to go and get how many passenger units. So get rid of you. One, two, three, four. So four units. Okay. That's going to cost us 1.9 right there. Uh, once when you get out of the tunnel, I think that's a good point to go and say we can buy you. Let's go and buy you and put you on the Tainan Lucknow line. Okay. He's going to head on out head on to our main line and then the other train is going to be coming in the same uh, back in the back other direction also let me go and get rid of the down costs because that's going to be needed overall uh so that's all we need for that we do need to potentially get another food train on this line do we have two food trains uh we do have an f two food trains and they are running at a at a loss which is uh quite surprising because because they make a lot of money. Uh, well, that's one of the food trains, and I'm guessing you're waiting for one of the grain trains to be making a drop off. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I might want to consider extending this so that way the turn on is like over here at the tunnel. Hmm, I'm not sure. In fact, I think we will do that just so that way these trains are not having to wait so long. Uh, because they are backing up. They are backing up right now. So let's actually go and get this train upgraded. And, or not train, uh, but more so the line exp uh, upgraded. I want to get it right there. And then let's go and just get you coming down and traveling alongside this. Have you stop about right there. So that way I can make you a bit better. Ooh, not like that. No, no, no. We want you to be, like, right there, I think. And then, let's see. How far in do we want to go with this? I think we want to go to about right here. Go about 40 miles per hour. And then just bring you straight the way down. And that should go ahead and affix the lines. Not really. It kind of does. No, it doesn't, because we don't have any uh, signals over there. Gotcha. Okay, so let's go and get rid of... Nope, I want to get rid of that signal right there. Why are you going ahead when you don't have a clear path? Okay. Well, that was a train accident waiting to happen right there. Let's go ahead and get the passenger train, or a uh, signal right there. And then let's just go and get a couple more signals right about there and one there. And then go ahead and get another one right over here. Another right there. And get the last one that we need right there. And that should go ahead and help us out a little bit. We can also get rid of this piece right there, so that way it will go and affix the tracks, which they affix right away. Um, this part right here, I really do want to try and adjust that because we don't really need it anymore. But because I actually do need to go and fix that. Because, uh, so let me go and grab some tracks here. Because if you notice, we need to go ahead and expand this track that we got right here and connect it onto this track. We can't do that because we got this track right here coming alongside it. And as far as I know, you can't make a like a, a three track right there. So that's the type of track that we need to create, but this right here prevents it. Um, and the main reason I'm bringing this up is because we need to 
get our expansion ready for going off to um, uh, going off to uh, what, what's the name of the city? I kind of forgot. <laughs> going off to Izmer. Going off to Izmer. That's what we need to prep for. So I guess what we can do: uh, get rid of that signal. Get rid of that signal. Get rid of that one. Um, and go ahead and get rid of that signal. Okay. Now, do we have any trains inbound? We do have this one. That's a passenger train. We don't need to worry about the passenger trains. I just need to check to see if we got any cargo trains. That's a passenger train. Haven't seen any others yet. Um, no, we don't have any more passenger trains coming in, but there should be a goods train coming. No, apparently there isn't. Oh, okay. Was expecting a goods trains to be nearby. But um, we can go ahead and fix this. We want to go ahead. Okay, so that's the grain train right there. We can leave that be. So I'll let that pass by. Let the passenger train get out of the way because I don't think that there's any other trains that I can see coming in a moderate distance, to say the least. So let's that train get past that signal block, which should be fine. Pause the game. And we need to go and do some demolish work. So let's go and grab our bulldoze key. I'm going to bulldoze this entire area because I'm going to get it replanned. And we're going to re replan it up to that point right there. Okay. And get rid of that section as well, I guess. Go and grab some tracks. Bring you straight down to there because that's where we need to have that be at. Um, and then what I need to do is bring you straight down to about there. And then bring this track is alongside you, okay? Now let's go ahead and grab our crossovers because we need to have this be a two track crossover. Let's have you go at about 50, just so that way we got a little bit of a speed gap. Since we aren't really at that day and age where we need to be focusing on speed, more so just focusing on production. Now let's go and get rid of that. Just, go, uh, just so that way we can bring it back a little bit. Uh, okay, and I gotta go and bring you guys out. Uh, bring you out to about right there. Roughly a thousand. And just go ahead and bring you over to there. But I want to do the inside one first. Because the inside one is the one that really matters here. Uh, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, Yeah, we're, we're fine with that. And I think what I can do real quick, configure this station and configure an additional, ooh, okay. Hit that. And I wanna go and make this the full platform length, okay? Because I eventually prospect that um, this line right here, the Tainan and Lucknow line is gonna be needing to expand further. So let's go ahead and grab you, move you around, and uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and have you just follow alongside the track then. And what I can do, bring you right there, 36. I don't like that. Uh, get rid of you, get rid of you. Bring you guys back a little bit. Um, go ahead and grab a piece of track. Build you right there. And I think what we'll do is bring this along here, and that will be kind of like our basis. Bring you to about 2,000 away. And no, bring you to about uh, one length's worth. Gotcha. And then let's just go ahead and. Hmm. Okay, well. Where is it that it actually like starts to turn? I'm guessing like right here. That's where it really needs to be at. Okay, so let's have you just come straight along here then. Do the same thing. Have you come down that way and you come alongside him. And I guess we could do a little bit of detail work as well while we are doing this. So let's go ahead and grab you. Actually, hmm. 
you know, why not do something like this? Because that means we can kind of make it a bit easier. Well, no, we do want to actually have the double track because we got that uh, food delivery line. And let's just go ahead and have you be about that far between, I guess. We don't want you turning off at 25. We want you turning off at around like 50. I think that should be fine. So that way the trains don't really have to slow down that much. Um, and let's see here. Would that be okay? Like d uh, double slipping these, double slip switch on those. I think that should be fine. Cause that should make it okay. Um, for now, go to make the Kalo Can line at Tainan. Bring you over to platform three. Okay, and that fixes everything. I think. Because the food delivery line, they don't need to worry about interfering with much traffic. The passenger line will just go ahead and affix itself into platform three. And that seems okay. Does it? I am not totally sure. Uh, but we can go ahead and start the expansion over to Izmir now. We can also let the game run a little bit more as well because that did uh, lose a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and also get some signals put in. Put a signal in over there. Put a signal uh, right there. And do we want to have a signal that close to each other? I guess we could. Uh, put you right there and you right there. I think that should be fine. Should be. I'm not too certain. Because I think that covers pretty much everything except for this right here, which I shouldn't really worry about too much but I guess I could potentially um, I can also get rid of that signal just so that way those ones are all in the line um yeah that's uh, looks fine to me just in case like when we do want to duplicate another one of these vehicles on the Tainan and Lucknow line they can still come from the Kalukan depot but instead of having to actually go into the wrong platform it goes into the correct one that's the whole reason why I decided to do that and uh, the cargo trains are automatically going to go off to the top one. That's what I was hoping for. And this actually looks much cleaner than what we had before, to be honest. So, still sticks at around four, plat uh, four uh, tracks, still. And this is a cargo hub, or not cargo hub, but passenger hub right here. So I think that should be pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Um, now... As in terms of this, I should go ahead and get rid of this station because it's just going to be costing us money and we're not really using it at all. So I'm going to pause the game here. Get rid of that station. And I know it's going to cause some pr trouble as far as the tracks are concerned. And there we go. That should fix it. And let's just go ahead and go ahead and detail a little bit detail using a gravel brush, I guess. Okay, and let's go ahead and get a little bit of this put off and away, because I guess that should be fine. And I think that uh, looks pretty good. What are you waiting on? Oh, you're waiting on one of the trains to actually come back in. Or not? Oh yeah, you're just right there. Okay, you're taking your time though. Um, I think I'm going to grab onto you. Because of the fact that we're not getting that many planks over here, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys a little bit of a break. So run on three times speed for a minute. When you get to the, not the next signal, but I think the one after. I'm going to just send you to the depot. Or actually, I can just sell you, like, right there. 539000 we get from selling him off. That's fine. Uh, okay, what's next on our agenda? Well, we don't really need to worry about this train right here. That train's actually making us a decent profit just because it's transporting stone down the line. 
And we don't got much construction materials being produced right now. Even though you got a stockpile of, of stone ready and available. So we'll leave that be for the moment. Uh, da -da 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 -dum. Oil. Oil is something that we need to look at as well. Hmm, so we just got had an oil train arrive. He's gonna pick up a full 68 or 63, my bad. Um, should I potentially upgrade these trains again? But I don't think that would really make sense. Hmm. Okay. This depot right here, or not depot, but station for the oil well. I think we might want to get some more vehicles on that line so if i go into the uh not the rail one i want cargo tokyo uh tainan crude which is this blue line right here we got 34 vehicles on that line let's go and get make that 36. duplicate that's going to be coming from the tokyo depot over here and that will work out on its own Okay, well, that should be good for the most part. Um, hmm, let me see here. Now, I guess we could go ahead on off to Izmir. Izmir is a destination for today. At least I hope it is. Let's go ahead and bring you straight through. Now, that does create a weird crossing right there. I think I will be adjusting that because I don't really like that. I know that's going to get rid of a connection, but I don't really want that connection anyway. I most likely will demolish it with something else. Um, in fact, I'm going to relay this track because, frankly, that's just that just looks bad. Let's go ahead and get you out to there and bring you along the same. And then let's just go and tra tag you along, I guess. One uh, track's worth, 63 miles per hour, and that's fine. In fact, I think I can just go ahead and do something like this. Uh, go ahead and bring you up to about right there. And I think first let me place the signal that I need coming out of here. I need one, two, and three technically, but that one's covered by that. Move you guys around a bit. Uh, move you guys right there. And that should be fine, I think. Get rid of that signal as well. I think that should be fine. I think. Um, get back over to the tracks. I want to get like a 70 going on. Oh, right there. Okay, and that's not that bad. That's actually a really good uh, interchange. And the reason that I decided to do, build that like right now is mostly due to the fact that we want to go ahead and have this uh, be kind of like the approach from Izmir and Bangdan, which is uh, right over here, or Ban Bandung, because we're going to have them split off over and around here. So, and in case you guys are wondering what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to fix it. Don't, don't you worry. Don't tell on anybody, okay? Don't tell on anybody. I didn't do anything. Well, maybe. That's besides the point, though. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and uh, curve this on around in the general direction that we're heading off to. I don't know why this is not snapping. There we go. I think we can just go ahead and build that up. Also, what is giving me a error message? Uh, you apparently. Oh yeah, because that's for the actual bus, uh, for the actual road connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. That does not leave any marks, which I'm kind of surprised about. I will go ahead and bring it along this way instead and have it connect down to about like right here or something. So that way it can actually go across over a bridge instead of having it cross over the tracks, which actually would make it a bit nicer as well. Uh, can I go and build that bridge right now though? I know I can because I got the money for it. 
Um, Outrage actually looks pretty nicely done. Does that actually look like an okay bridge? If I had it going like that, yes it does. And go and have you connect right there, which is moderately stable actually. And let's just go ahead and bring you. Oh, you are gonna cost me a lot of money. Uh, let's build you like right there. We want to bring you down, so that way you meet up to that. Don't want to have you come down at an aggressive angle. And just curve around. And I think I can have you come straight down 17k. I think that's fine though. Ah, uh, that actually looks pretty nice. That looks pretty nice. I think that would have looked messier if I would have built that bridge over here. It would have also made it much more difficult to build it over there. So we're gonna go and build this line up to Izmir. Uh, let's go and get the station built up first and maybe the passenger line as well. Since this is gonna be a through station and it's most likely gonna connect to either Quizon or Gengzhou, which by the way, in this episode, I'm not gonna, I don't have any responses back from that episode in regards to should I go to Gangzhou or to Guizhan City because that episode apparently did not receive any comments. I'm recording this the day of, by the way, that that episode or that this episode is supposed to release. So, yay. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I can have a branch line that comes down to Suzhou. But I think what I can do is that this line that we're working on right now, the Tainan and to Kalukan line, I think it will go to Izmir and then hang, head down to Gengzhou, then to Suzhou city and terminate there. And then there's going to be another line that will run, uh, let's see, I guess from like Juniper or Japer, sorry to Bengdun, head into Izmir instead of going into Tainan. Go into Quezon City, Kyoto, and then Benku, and then maybe over to Riyadh. I don't know. I don't know. We will find out though. So what I will do then is have three platforms worth. So that way I can actually determine which one will be going where. And actually, I want to make this four platforms. No, three platforms for now because I'll go and expand the third platform at a later point. So because this is going to be the terminating stop for the moment, we want to go and make sure that it's actually doing all right. Condition of many vehicles are poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard the complaint before. If you go right there. Have you go along there think we can ever use straight down this way Ooh, okay that's uh, a bit tricky yeah that's fine uh, let's go ahead and now build up the tracks uh, that's actually not the track we want to build up we want to build up track three first and let's just go ahead and bring you along like so. I'll have you go in at 50. And then let's have you come along like so. Um, you're, you're actually on the right path, so. Let's have you come straight along. Most of the way here, I believe, is flat. So if we were to take a look at the terrain right here. Yeah, there's only like really this hill part right here where I think that's a dip. That might be a dip. No, that's a hill. Okay, so that's the only real hill part right there, which is kind of in the way. Uh, I don't. I think that we could possibly do something to where one part of the line goes that way, and then the Bang Then line will go around that way, or something like that. Haven't even decided yet. 
Uh, let's go ahead and actually keep that up so that way I know where the biggest difference is going to be. So about right there. I'm just going to keep you guys coming. You guys are curving around a little bit, but not by much. Not by much. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys straightened out a little bit because I want you guys headwaying onto that hill. So that way that hill is kind of like the divider between the two lines. We are on the right track. Um, no, no pun intended. So we're going to have you go along that way. Come on. Go on the right side. There you go. And then have you come down about two full units worth. And then have you come along like that. A little bit of an uphill, but that's fine. Uh, come on, let's snap. There you go. You can snap like that, right? There we yeah, you can. Have it just come straight down that way. It does cut into the actual terrain of that hill, if you want to call it that, a little bit, but not by much. And then we'll just go and bring you like so. I don't normally go ahead and uh, have the terrain tools on so this is a bit different than what I normally do is that something I like is that something I like um like I like it because that's actually not that bad uh, smooth uphill smooth downhill but do you guys like it that's the real question let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that I'm gonna put it in for now but let me go know in the comment section you guys think about this line or this stuff uh, right here the um the railroad crossing near the Izmir oil well. I'm just going to tell me that the, uh, the railroad crossing near the oil well doesn't look good or something like that. Because this track right here is going to head off in this direction. I'm not going to be building this line right now because it's not going to really happen at this point. I'm just getting the track ready so that way it can be built up. There we go. Yeah, and then it's going to be heading over to Bingdon. Okay. Now we can go ahead and expand the Tainan and uh, Calocan line. That seems pretty good right now. Uh, yeah. Also, this has been a little bit of a longer video. I think we're going at about like 35 minutes in, roughly. And um, I'm going to be finishing up. Don't you worry. Let's go ahead and expand the line, shall we? We are going to expand you over to Izmer Station and have you come back. And when you get into Tainan, coming in the other way, you're going to come into that platform right there. Which is perfect. Perfect. And I think that should be all said and done. Uh, let's also quickly grab ourselves a setup for... A passenger service going around here. Let's go ahead and have this be 20 meters. One platform on each side. Rotate you around. And I think that should be good right there. In fact, how much uh, does this station actually cover? A good chunk. Not a lot, though. Let's go ahead and build up the road network a little bit. Remember, to go and invest, you gotta... Or to go ahead and make money, you gotta go and invest your money. Shut up, Google. Don't do that again. <laughs> I don't know why Google decided to do that. Um, oh well. I want to go ahead and have you come along right here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. If you go that way, have... Ooh, that's not good. You come that way. You only connect right there, though. And I think that should be everything. Uh, we do need to go and place the, the actual bus stop, so that's important. Also, get rid of the actual station overlay. That covers the station. Right over here does not cover the station, which I'm okay with. Um, we want to make sure that we are not covering that stop over there. I'll have you go right there. Make sure that's the case. And have you go right there. And we can have you go there. That will cover this area down here. 
Let's go ahead and also grab a passenger. Also, you know what? Let's do a tram line. Izmir is gonna have a tram line. How about that? We haven't had, haven't had the, the chance to do a tram line yet. So let's do the tram line. Let's go ahead and get all these roads that we need upgraded for a tram line. Uh, upgrade the station. And it's gonna have you come along like so. And I think that should be good. Now let's go ahead and grab the new line that we need to go and put in. Have it go from the transfer station and have you going around in a loop. And we're gonna do the same thing where you just loop back on yourself. And there we go. And this is gonna be our tram line. I'm gonna quickly buy the vehicles first. We do got the St. Petersburg streetcar, 12 mile per hour speed limit. A bit faster than our horse drawn streetcar and has a bit more of a carrying capacity, which I think is all we need. So we got a total of how many stops on this line? Uh, four bus stops and one station. I think that's like 10 actual stops. So let's go ahead and buy like 10 vehicles. Uh, let's start off with eight then. Yeah, let's start off with eight. Set you all on line one, and there we go. And let's just go and rename that to be uh, we can't use train or we can't use T for tram because that's taken by trains rail is taken for rail cargo uh, we can't use bus so how about I use I can't use s because that would be used for shipping but we're not really gonna be using shipping too much is what I'm expecting even though this is a tropical themed map there's not really much of an opportunity to use any uh, boats because if you guys just look around there's not really much water it's not really much water when we create when i created this map i mostly wanted mainland so and that's what we got uh i guess we can go ahead and just call it s for streetcar and this is going to be the ismer streetcar there we go the one and only streetcar along this entire line also, actually, that can actually be changed because this Calucan line is supposed to be rail because apparently we also got the Tainan line listed as rail. So this can actually be called S instead of, uh, or T instead of S. It'll still be in the same area, but still. Okay, well, that is that sorted on out. And I think at that point, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call the episode there because we have been hard at work today going on about 45 minutes now oh my goodness gracious a long episode for sure i hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode we did a little bit of improvements all across our entire network we got a new tram line started we got the expansion to Izmir started or completed actually and then we also got started on the line that will be heading out to Jaipur. And hopefully that's actually going to be a really good line. If you guys want to see more videos like this, ladies and gentlemen, then make sure to go ahead and leave a like if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will check you guys in the next episode. Ciao for now.